वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन अ प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट कोवर एंड बॉन्ड देयर आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू द डेफिनेशन ऑफ कोवल एंड बॉन्ड एंड the types of covalent bond which can be formed between the two atoms the definition was the bond which is formed by sharing of electrons between the atoms is called covalent bond when non metals are involved in bond formation then definitely their sharing of electrons takes place now if two electrons are shared each atom is contributing one electron then single bond will be formed between the two atoms or we can say single covalent bond will be formed between the two atoms if four electrons are shared each atom is contributing two electrons then double bond will be formed between the two atoms or there will be double covalent bond and if six electrons are involved in bond formation each atom is contributing three electrons then there will be formation of triple bond or we can say triple covalent bond after that let us move to electron dot structure what do we mean by electron dot structure here the electrons of the atom present in valence shell will be represented by dot or cross sign so what is electrodot structure it is the representation of valence shell electrons present in covalent molecule in the form of cross or dot sign let us take for example example number 1 hf hydrogen is having atomic number 1 there is one electron in the valence shell of hydrogen similarly fluorine its atomic number is 9 it is having seven electrons in the valence shell now we have to show the sharing with the valence electron present in both the atoms so here electron of hydrogen is represented by dot symbol a dot sign and electrons valence electrons of fluorine atom are represented by cross sign a cross symbol so here electron 1 of hydrogen and here electron 7 of fluorine 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 sharing will take place in such a manner that hydrogen will complete its duplet while fluorine will complete its octet hydrogen for duplet completion requires only one electron and fluorine for octet completion requires one electron so they will be sharing of one electrons one electron will be contributed by both the atom so here is the contribution by hydrogen and here is the contribution by fluorine sharing will take place as a result of sharing fluorine will complete the octet and h will complete the duplet now where is the duplet completion so you have to circle the electrons which are involved in duplet completion so here is the duplet completion for hydrogen 
you have to represent the octet completion of fluorine. So circle the eight electrons which are involved in octet completion of fluorine. So here it is the octet completion of fluorine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As each atom is contributing one electron, so there will be formation of single bond between hydrogen and fluorine. Then comes your H2S. We have to show the electron dot structure for H2S. Hydrogen, again, atomic number 1, balance electron 1. Sulfur, atomic number 16, so electronic configuration will be 2, 8, 6. Sulfur contains 6 valence electrons. Now, electron of hydrogen by dot sign and valence electron of sulfur by cos sign. Hydrogen has to complete the nuclei and sulfur has to complete the octet. As hydrogen is having only one electron in the valence shell, so only one electron of hydrogen will be involved with one electron of sulfur in bond formation. So here is the electron of hydrogen and here is the electron of sulfur involved in sharing. Electron of hydrogen, electron of sulfur involved in sharing. Now represent the duplet completion for hydrogen. So here is the duplet completion for hydrogen. Here is the duplet completion for hydrogen. And here is the octet completion of sulfur. You have to circle all the eight electrons which are completing the octet of sulfur atom. So here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. As each atom is contributing one electron, so there will be formation of single bond between hydrogen and sulfur. There will be formation of single bond between hydrogen and sulfur. Then comes number 3, PS3. Phosphorus belongs to nitrogen family or we can say group number 15 or 5A. It means phosphorus will have 5 electrons in the valence shell. Phosphorus, its atomic number is 15. So according to Bourbourg scheme, its electronic configuration can be written as 2, 8, 5. 2 plus 8, 10, 10 plus 5, 15. Atomic number 15 means total electrons will be 15. So here we are having 5 electrons in the valence shell of phosphorus. One electron in the valence shell of hydrogen. So electron of hydrogen is represented by dot sign and valence electron of phosphorus represented by cross sign. Now we have to show duplet completion for hydrogen and octet completion for phosphorus by sharing of electrons. As H is having only one electron, so it will share one electron with the phosphorus. So hydrogen is sharing its one electron with the one electron of phosphorus. H is sharing one electron with the one electron of phosphorus. H sharing one electron with the one electron of phosphorus. In this manner, H will complete its duplet. So here is the duplet completion for hydrogen. Here is the duplet completion for hydrogen. Here is the duplet completion for hydrogen. And here is the octet completion for phosphorus. You can count it also. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. S. S. One electron from each atom is contributed for sharing. So there will be formation of single bond between hydrogen and phosphorus, between H and P, between H and P. Now let us talk about carbon dioxide. CO2. In CO2, carbon forms the central atom while oxygen forms the surrounding atom. Carbon on both sides is surrounded by oxygen. Now oxygen is having 6 electrons in the valence shell because its atomic number is 8. We can write the configuration as 2,6. For the completion of octane, oxygen requires 2 electrons. And oxygen is surrounding atom. So oxygen can share its electron only on one side. 
where carbon is there. So oxygen will share its both electron or two electrons with the two electrons of carbon. So here is two electrons of oxygen represented by dot sign and two electrons of carbon represented by cross sign. Again, two electrons of oxygen by dot sign and two electrons of carbon by cross sign. Now when oxygen will share two electrons with the two electrons of carbon, oxygen will complete its octet. Carbon on both sides is sharing two electrons. In this manner, carbon will also complete its octet. You can count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So circle all the eight electrons which are involved in octet completion of carbon atom. Now, as oxygen and carbon are sharing two electrons, each, uh, each atom is contributing two electrons. So there will be formation of double bond between carbon and oxygen. There will be formation of double bond between carbon and oxygen. Then we have BF3. Boron belongs to group 13 or 30. It means boron will be having three electron in its valence shell. Three electrons are there. So if all the three electrons of boron are involved in sharing or bond formation, then boron will have only six electrons in the valence shell. It means octet of boron atom is not complete. So the molecules in which octet of central atom is not complete are called electron deficient molecules. So BF3 is an electron deficient molecule because octet of boron is not complete after sharing of electrons. So let us represent BF3 as electron dot structure. Electrons of boron represented by cross sign, electron of fluorine represented by dot sign. Fluorine requires only one electron for octet completion. So fluorine will share its one electron with the electron of boron. Similarly, fluorine will share its one electron with the electron of boron. Third fluorine also shares one electron with the electron of boron. Now, after sharing one electron, fluorine will complete the octet. But boron will have only six electrons. You can count one, two, three, four, five, six as one electron is involved or one electron is contributed by each atom. So there will be formation of single bond between fluorine and boron atom. Then we have CH4, methane. Carbon is central atom, hydrogen is surrounding atom. It's very simple to draw the electron structure. H is having only one electron. So H can share its one electron with the one electron of carbon. So here H is sharing its one electron with the electron of carbon. Electron of H, electron of carbon, electron of H, electron of carbon, electron of H, electron of carbon. H is completing its duplet while carbon is completing its octet. There will be formation of single bond between carbon and hydrogen. Then we have CCL4. Chlorine, its atomic number is 17. Electronic configuration can be written as 2, 8, 7. There are 7 electrons. Chlorine requires one electron for octet completion. So definitely, chlorine will share its one electron with the electron of carbon. So carbon will be surrounded by four chlorine atom. Each chlorine is contributing one electron for bond formation or for sharing. So here, electron of chlorine, electron of carbon, electron of chlorine, electron of carbon, electron of chlorine, electron of carbon, electron of chlorine, electron of carbon. Octet completion for chlorine, octet completion for chlorine, octet completion for chlorine, octet completion for chlorine, and here is octet completion of carbon atom. You can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. As each atom is contributing one electron, each atom is contributing one electron. So there will be formation of single bond between carbon and chlorine. So that's all in electron dot structure. From our next class, we will start with hydrocarbon, the most important topic of this chapter. Thank you and have a good day.